If anyone was making a short list of athletes that were showing potential to replace Bolt as Jamaica's number one sprinter, the name Nigel Ellis would certainly be high up on that list. Storming to new heights in that elusive 2016 season where he ran 10.16 in the 100 and 20.4 in the 200 meters, Nigel Ellis was a name that resonated around the athletics community as one of the most promising athletes globally. He finished that season ranked higher in the 200 meters over both Noel Lyles and Michael Norman, two guys who are in the upper hierarchy of sprinting today. After signing with Puma in 2016, opting to go pro after high school, Ellis stayed in Jamaica meanwhile training with his high school coach at the Elite Performance Track Club. Shortly after, his times began to stagnate, and he picked up hamstring and ankle injuries to add to his troubles, but he still competed throughout 2017, and unfortunately his greatest accomplishment was making the final of the 100 meters at the National Senior Championships, in which he finished sixth. Eventually he made the decision to switch from his high school coach to join the prestigious MVP track club. His performances did get better there, as he had his most successful season since leaving high school, winning the 200 meters at the Racers Grand Prix in a new personal best of 20.36. He then went on to make it to the semifinals at the Commonwealth Games in the men's 100 meters and then grabbing bronze at the NACAC Championship. Despite all that he still is far off where many would expect him to be, given the caliber of the guys he once was ranked ahead and competing with. Don't forget, he was a part of a stacked final at the World Juniors, where he finished third. That race was won by Michael Norman, and Ellis finished ahead of South African, Clarence Munyai, the current holder of the 200m national record of 19.69 seconds. This should put into perspective the level of talent this young man possess. We have to wonder if the decision of going professional and remaining with his high school coach, rather than taking up a scholarship like Raheem Chambers did, is coming back to haunt him. Chambers who was a promising talent in that same era, took a scholarship to the University of Auburn and then switched to University of Miami. He is now the fastest Jamaican over 60 meters in 2020 and was one of the favorites going into the NCAA Indoor Championships. Ellis should be in the mix with the likes of Andre Ewers, Akeem Bloomfield, or even Wasim Williams as athletes who are doing well as newcomers to the senior professional life. However that's not the case, mainly because of injury setbacks. It is not the first time that successful athletes leave high school, then transition to being a professional, but the fact that most of these Jamaican high school stars enter the professional scene with injury problems is a major concern. The most talked about issue of this sort is Michael O'Hara, who was destined for great things, but now looks like a shell of his former self, failing to maintain fitness, which shows in his results over the last few years. The silver lining for Ellis is that at this young age, 22, he has time to recuperate and get back on track to fulfilling his true potential.